Welcome to a bonus episode of Excuse My Grandma. We have been doing these bonus episodes weekly to just do some question and answers with Grandma Gail from the Ask Grandma Anything that you guys wrote in on Instagram. So, Grandma, are you ready to get started? I'm ready, Kim. Okay. First question is, she would love some investing tips, even with clothes and bags. I want to be a rich luxury lady. <laughs> well, firstly, invest in your own career. Put, uh, put away enough money uh, smartly uh, with either uh, an investment person or uh, someone you can rely on. Uh, make sure you're not spending more than you're making. Do not use that credit card, girls, uh, without being able to pay for it. Interest is very, very high today, and uh, it'll eat up your money. So uh, as far as investing in a bag, uh, I always say get the best one that you can afford um, because they do last. Bags and shoes. What do you mean the best? Well, if, if it, what price range? You know, if you're in a price range, you everybody researches what they want mm -hmm. so they know what they can afford. Don't buy something that doesn't fit into your budget because then, you know what, save it up. If it's not this month, it could be in three months. So don't just spend to spend. Uh, get quality. And the same in shoes. I believe shoes are an investment as well. But unless, uh, you know, for some reason you're on a fashion shoot, you could wear the same pair of shoes for... 10 years, which I do. You don't wear them every day, but a good pair of shoes, if properly taken care of, can last. What are your least favorite colors to wear? Well, those who follow Kim and I know my favorite colors are black and white because mm -hmm. that's what I usually wear. My least favorite color to wear is probably red because even though I love the color red, it's very hard to get the right red with your skin tone. So um, some of them are too blue, some of them, whatever it is, some of them drain your, the color of your skin and don't look really well on people. And for the most part, blondes um, really look better in pastel shades uh, rather than very strong colors other than black <laughs> because it, it's, it, they don't, they're just too hard to wear. But you know what? Everybody has preferences and there's no bad color. I love lilac. Yeah. I think everybody looks good in uh, any kind of violet colors or lilac colors. And I actually love pink, which, of course, Kim is wearing and I'm wearing today. Those are flattering shades on almost everybody. Yeah, I love the color pink, but I actually feel like I don't know if it's necessarily the best color for me to wear. No, I think it's very, really, really good. I you have like blue eyes and you have dark hair, so they're with very the blue, pretty. You want to wear blue and green and well, blue blue color. Well, blue is probably your best color because you have blue eyes. And I have green eyes, and green doesn't really look that good on me. So uh, it really depends. You, you have to, it's, a, it's a hit and miss, <laughs> and after a while you'll realize what your best color is. Black and white is mine. Do you have advice for healing a fractured mother-daughter relationship? Well, that's a very tough one. Um, I've had a wonderful one, and, and uh, my daughter and I are very close. If it's fractured, you have to find some way of fixing it because it'll haunt you for your entire life and for future relationships as well. So you know what? Reach out a hand. If the, Usually, um, if the daughter was hurt by something that the mother said, it was probably not said out of meanness, uh, but maybe as a criticism that she couldn't, you couldn't take. So I think maybe the older person should reach out first. Uh, if they don't, then the daughter should reach out. But don't let it fester. Mm -hmm. uh, someone wrote, I live, work, and own a place in a great city that doesn't have many Jewish guys to date. Advice? Well, we talked about that. You know what? Everybody's got a, uh, if you're Jewish, then everybody's got a synagogue, usually within a five-mile radius of where you live. Uh, it doesn't have to be next door. So uh, take the bus or take a car and go for a Friday night service somewhere. Um, reach out to uh, organizations that would have uh, young people that are of your faith. Uh, and you know what? It isn't easy because, uh, but you'll find it. There, there are plenty of guys out there that are of your faith, no matter what faith you are. Yeah, I've never run into that problem living in New York City and Palm Beach, but I think that you might have to drive a little bit. Yeah. And that's just the way it is, unfortunately. Grandma, do you have a favorite museum to go to in New York City and also a favorite place to have dinner? 
Okay, my favorite museum probably in the world is the Met. Uh, the Metropolitan Museum on Fifth Avenue uh, represents all art from the beginning of time till now and has shows uh, different paintings, sculpture, artifact shows all the time that are changing. So it's a wonderful museum, uh, very, very open to the public. Um, they have wonderful uh, resources for young people, for children. Uh, so it's a, a museum. If you're in New York, uh, really, really make an effort to go up there and, and uh, go see the uh, exhibitions that are there. Um, my restaurants, I don't really have any favorites. Uh, I like anything that serves Italian food or um, Asian food. And usually in your neighborhood, so up to Well, now. usually in my neighborhood because Poppy and I don't like to, we like to walk. Mm -hmm. We like to walk to and from dinner. So uh, none of them are terrific, but none of them are bad, and we enjoy them all. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was our quick little Ask Grandma Anything. We're going to be answering the rest of the questions on our Instagram stories, so be sure to check that out. And we'll see you at our next episode. Bye.